Hey, everyone. Hey, bag ladies and bag dudes. I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. Thanks so much for joining me for Ask Sarah, my weekly Q&A chat. Hey everybody, happy Halloween Eve. As promised, I am donning my Halloween costume for tomorrow. Danny's gonna put a picture up on the screen really quick. Um, this is what my costume is. I did the best that I could to match um, the different items. I even got as close to the pants as I could. And of course the su suspender. So if you're not familiar, um, this is a TV show uh, in the UK called Doctor Who. Um, the show's been going on for 55 years and um, it's always been a male lead and without getting too much into detail about the show um, the, the main character is called the doctor and he regenerates every what two or three seasons is that right so three when seasons usually. when he regenerates uh, he turns into a different uh, an, a different actor plays the main the main lead the doctor and so for the first time this year, it's a female lead. Um, so it's 13th it, Doctor, too. Yeah, 13th Doctor. Melissa. So I've got my uh, say that. sonic screwdriver, 13th Doctor. Yep. Um, I just wanted to wear my jacket for a second because it's getting hot in here. But I'm very thankful that tomorrow we're expecting about 52 degrees here in Chicago. So I can wear my costume without having to wear my winter coat and be, be freezing. So, um, yes, Jodie Whittaker is the actress that plays uh, the the doctor this year so very excited about that um, I don't always get a Halloween costume but this one seemed relatively easy to put together because it's you know yellow suspenders a t-shirt with stripes on it blue pants cropped pants and a jacket so um, happy early Halloween to you I hope you have a lot of candy in your house to snack on uh, today during Ask Sarah I bought a whole bunch of candy just in case we don't often get a lot of trick-or-treaters at our house because our house is while we live in Chicago, our house is kind of pushed back to the end of the lot, so trick-or-treaters have to walk um, an extra distance to get to our front door. So I bought a lot just in case, but if not, I, I purchased all of our favorites. Uh, Swedish Fish, what else did I get? Um, what were those other jelly? Sour Patch Candies. Sour Patch Kids. Danny loves Sour Patch Kids. Um, anyway, excited about Halloween tomorrow and going trick-or-treating. All right. Um, okay, you can take that photo off the screen now if that's all right, so everybody could see you too. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, Adrian guessed correctly. Uh, Minikin season two, while we were originally planning on releasing it on Halloween, I finished it up yesterday afternoon and I decided uh, because I just can't keep anything to myself. Once I finished getting everything ready with the website, I thought, um, you know, let's party. Let's just release it right away. So if you were waiting, uh, Minikin season two is available right now on the website. Um, it's 13 PDF patterns and 13 videos. Um, if you haven't seen the projects yet, we made a trailer video that's also on YouTube and on the website. Um, you can see all of the projects in detail in the video, and there's also plenty of photos in there. And oh, uh, funny comment. Danielle says, I bought candy, and now, now I don't want to give it out. <laughs> you could, I mean, I'm not suggesting you do this, but you could just turn your lights off and pretend, <laughs> pretend nobody's home, I suppose. <laughs> Um, anyway, so, um, I did see at least three people finish their Minikin Season 2 projects already. I saw Lori posted a day trip, uh, cell phone wallet in the Facebook group, and Julie and Tristy both finished Turnpike Convertible Wallet. So, um, sewing machines are humming, and thank you so much for your support. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, we'll be getting to filming the free Kennedy bag video super soon. Uh, we just needed to kind of catch our breath a little bit, but Danny wants to keep in the work mode and um, really uh, not have any downtime. He wants to get right into that filming that video, so that's what we're planning on doing. We did promise that to you a while ago, and we want to make sure we uh, get that out there. Yeah, get that get that finished and out, out for you all, so you can make that pattern if you've been waiting for it. So uh, Danny's uh, well on Tuesday. Danny's second favorite part of the show. Um, Feel free to type in bag lady or bag dude in the comments now. If you are, I know I'm a super huge bag lady. Uh, Danny's sort of a bag dude Wannabe. admirer, I guess you could say. He's an he's an admirer of the bags in the Facebook group. But um, thank you so much for uh, typing that in the comments and for being part of our community. And we, we, we really, really appreciate it. And this is the most fun we've ever had online being part of this community whether it's on Facebook, uh, Facebook and YouTube during the live chats. Um, it's been a blast. 
Uh, Renee says, Danny will have to start a support group for the spouses of the bag ladies and bag dudes who don't sew because we will be lonely for a while. <laughs> That's really funny. Yep. Super funny. I like that a lot. Um, all right. Another bit of news to let you know about. Um, I just listed uh, before I made dinner tonight the LED sewing machine lights on the website. Unfortunately, because of the time they arrived today, I did not have time to take product photos. We were planning on um, posting a little video, sort of like a how-to, like how to install the lights. It's it's super easy, but um, I figured, uh, you know, since we're in the business of doing videos, we might as well have a quick little two-minute video for how to install this on your sewing machine. Uh, it's very quick. It's very quick and easy. So it comes in this tiny little box, uh, just an LED light that goes on the throat of your sewing machine. We'll talk more about that this Sunday on Social Sunday, and actually Danny's gonna be doing the demonstration. He's gonna demonstrate how to add that to your sewing machine, and it fits on just about every sewing machine um, for... And it's frustration-free packaging. Frustration-free packaging. Yep. Um, because all sewing machines have different throat sizes, like my Juki has a really large throat size, some other machines have smaller throats. Um, it'll fit on just about every sewing machine because you can make changes to the LED strip by clipping a little piece off the end. And Danny's gonna yeah, show you how to do sure. that because I didn't want anybody to be worried about, oh yeah. gosh, I have to cut this and what if I make a mistake? Yeah. Danny's gonna show you how to do it and um, no worries about that. So that'll be this Sunday on Social Sunday. Um, but it is listed on the website right now because I I felt like I promised uh, that they were coming Tuesday. And so they are listed, uh, we, they are available to ship. I just don't have a video or photograph right now. All right. Um, what else? Oh, I also wrote on my outline that I want to know what do you need help with? So I'm gearing up now that we finished the minikins. I'm gearing up for future demonstrations, live demonstrations for Social Sunday. So if there's something that you would like to see demonstrated, let me know in the comments or you can even email me Sarah at SoSweetness.com, Sarah with no H. So I'm looking for ideas of things that you'd like to know about. Some recent things that I've shown on so Social Sunday are for example, uh, what needle size to use for bag making, depending on what type of fabric you're using. What else have I shown recently? How to add a side pocket to any bag, uh, slash mesh pocket to any bag. So stuff like that. False bottom. False bottom I showed recently. Thank you very much. So if there's anything that you want to know about. How to zipper. Um, how to wear a zipper I showed recently. Um, let me know in the comments or feel free to email me also. Um, what else was I going to say about that? Or if there's any tools that you would like me to investigate, um, I'm always happy because, you know, that's my favorite to investigate new tools. So um, let me know in the comments about that. All right. So we're going to jump on over. Uh, well, I saw a burning question. You can okay. answer quickly. Sarah, uh, Pat says, sorry. Uh, Sarah, would you consider carrying 40-inch purse zippers? Uh, we actually do carry 40-inch handbag zippers. We carry both 30-inch and 40-inch. They're in the Notion section of the shop, and because the Notion section is alphabetical, the zippers are all the way at the end of the list. So I think currently that's page four of the list. So if you scroll or jump over to page four in the Notion section in the shop, handbag zippers are there. How many colors do we have? Uh, I don't know, close to 30? I don't know. Uh, Something two like racks. that. There's a lot of different colors that we have. Yep. And they, they have two poles, double poles. They come with the two poles on there. Um, yes. All right. Uh, Let's go. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Boom! Out of this world sublime bag from our very own Michelle. And she did an awesome job, photo setup, great pictures. I uh, love the little police box, the glasses. Uh, she, overall, it's awesome. I, you know, I'm a big Doctor Who Die Hard fan and you killed it. Amazing job. Yep, so that's Danny's pick of the week and that was from Michelle Graham, who if you're in the Facebook group, I'm sure you know who Michelle is because yes. she comments on it. She comments on everything. So way to go, Michelle. It looks awesome. Very good job. Very jealous of that bag. So if you enjoy our live shows, if you enjoy our sewing tutorial videos and our full length videos, um, if you could humor us, if you're watching on Facebook, if you could hit the share button, share this sewing video with your other sewing friends. And regardless, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, if you could um, hit the like button, which looks like a little picture of a thumbs up. The likes and shares help us out so, so much because uh, Facebook and YouTube look very kindly on those likes and shares, and they help us out by sharing our videos with other people that have similar interests, well, sewing, sewing interests. And if you're so on YouTube, hit the subscribe button too. You may be new when you're not subscribed yet, and if you want to see uh, future videos, we do two shows a week, so it's always good to, you know, Stay connected. And then you'll also get notification of that upcoming Kennedy bag video. We're going to, we promise we'll get to that super, yeah, super sure. soon. Yep. Yes. 
Someone asked, what's the Kennedy bag? It's a free pattern that it's a, Sarah offers. It's a free pattern. It's um, a messenger bag sty <laughs> style book, uh, bag, book, <laughs> bag with uh, buckles on the front. Um, actually, in the video, I'm going to show you a few options if you don't want to work with the buckles, uh, what other hardware you can use instead. And I feel like it would be great for uh, a guy also, if you, especially if you make it in gender neutral fabrics. Danielle says, Michelle is not allowed to do any more bags this week. <laughs> Michelle is a sewing machine. I wish I could sew as much as uh, as many bags as Michelle does. Right. I feel Definitely. like you peel back your skin, you'll see like gears and mechanical parts. <laughs> She's a legit sewing machine. Um, oh, another thing that I'd like to tell you about. So my birthday is coming up at the end of November. My birthday is November 28th. And I had a, an idea this year that I would love to have postcards from around the world uh, for my birthday. Um, couple parts to this. Uh, I'd like to have postcards from all of you and a postcard, uh, you know, is not very expensive. If you can't get a hold of a postcard, a regular birthday card is certainly fine. <laughs> but I wanted to have a collection from all over the world and um, to keep them in my sewing room and have some of them displayed. Um, but there was one small problem with this. Uh, I wanted to set up a PO box to have the postcards delivered because I love my mailman. His name is Jose. I super love Jose and I hope he's always our mailman. But since my dad is also a mailman, I remember as a child going uh, a few Saturdays before German school, because we used to take German school as kids on Saturdays. Um, anyway, we used to go uh, once in a while after school while he was still working. And I, I remember sitting there while he sorted the mail. So I don't want to unleash uh, the terror of having hundreds of postcards come through and Jose having to sort all those postcards. So I plan on setting up, up a PO box just for no November and December, just so all those postcards can go to the PO box instead of have, having Jose uh, uh, sort all those and deliver all those to me. So I will let you know as soon as I get that set up. I'll probably set it up tomorrow during the day. Um, I'll let you know the P.O. Box address on the Sunday show, and I'll list it probably in the Facebook group also. So in case you wanted to participate, totally optional if you don't feel like it or if you don't want to run out and get a postcard. I just thought it, having postcards from where you were from would be really cool. Um, anyway, I'll let you know on a future show, but I just wanted to tell you that's something that I was thinking about, and it's not till the end of November, so we've got plenty of time for Are that. Are you still talking about this? I was trying to like wait. To Why say were you something. looking around? Were you looking for yes, something? Yes, they asked or? about the Kennedy bag. If you had one, I remember you had oh, a Kennedy bag. I, I was not... looking for one that was hanging around. Maybe oh, grab there's, it. there's not one but in the it's room. But it's not. And the next thing was, where's the Kennedy bag? Do you get it from your website? It's on my website. I have a tab on my website. Uh, tutorials is one of the tabs. If you hover your mouse over the tutorials tab, there's a few options. Uh, one is bags, and the Kennedy bag is under that that tab. And it's a free pattern. It's just like my regular patterns with the full color step photos, but we really wanted to do a video because I know a lot of you appreciate having the videos to follow, follow along with, or at least to keep you company while you're sewing your project. And we also can't forget tomorrow is, what is tomorrow? Michelle's birthday. That's what it is. Michelle Graham's birthday is tomorrow. I know some people are going to say Halloween, but no, the correct <laughs> answer is Michelle. Uh, big happy birthday to Michelle. Early birthday. Happy Thanks birthday. See tomorrow. Um, yep. And many more. Excellent. Okay, so um, now time for questions. If you have a sewing-related question for me, bag-making-related question, if you have a question about a notion or tool, let me know in the comments now. Danny's going to be putting some comments up on the screen, and I'll answer as many as I can live. Uh, Charlie says, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Can you start over, please? Charlie, the, the great thing about the live shows is you can watch it uh, as soon as we finish the recording over on YouTube or Facebook. So... Um, uh, just a few fun things. Uh, sewing machine lights came in. Uh, birthday, my birthday's coming up, so I think those are the the main points in that. Um, every, I I see a lot of happy birthday wishes uh, coming through the screen. Um, all right, lots of happy birthdays to Michelle. Lots of birthdays. All right, I'm thinking. Uh, well, let me think of some questions I got today via email, and uh, so you have a a bit of a break to find something to put up on the screen. So uh, one of the most recent questions that came through my email regarding Minikin Season 2 was, do you need the acrylic templates to make it? And uh, acrylic templates are completely optional. Uh, they're just helpful if you're making the same project tons of times, like for a craft fair or for gifts. But all of the pattern pieces are included in all the patterns, so there's nothing extra to buy. Um, after you buy the bundle. Um, the templates are completely optional. Diana says, 
I suggest having a separate tab for free patterns, please. Um, actually, the tutorials tab is the, the bag. The bag heading under tutorials is the free patterns. There's another um, heading underneath the tutorials tab for bag making techniques. And those are separate, but those are just little videos or blog posts that I've done in the past, um, like how to make a zipper pocket, how to make a side pocket, that kind of thing. Susan says, what's your favorite rotary cutter? So Real fast, the question for that was oh. about, are you getting more oil in stock, the oilers? Um, I do have the Precision Machine Oilers on order. I don't have a tracking number for that order yet. Um, I know my supplier was having trouble getting a hold of them because we, I guess we ordered too many or more expected. So we'll let you know on the live show as soon as we get more of those in. I know it's been a while. Uh, please bear with us because the, the Oilers are really cool. Um, I'm going to grab my rotary cutter. So I have this in purple and also in pink. This is the Ulfa. I think it's called the Ulfa, Ulfa Splash. And I use the endurance blade, blades in this, which, Danny, can you grab one of those blades behind you? See, it's the purple, uh, gray packaging. I happen to have this on the ground because I was planning on replacing my blades soon, but I use the endurance blades, which, according to the packaging, says cuts twice as long. Um, I feel like it cuts uh pretty long. I've used blades from um, Harbor Freight in the past and it was sort of hit or miss. Sometimes I get a blade that worked just as well as the Ulfa blades and sometimes sometimes not. It was like 50-50. Um, even though the Harbor Freight blades, uh, I guess they use them for carpet cutting. Is that yeah. what you would say? You know, I was talking to Adam today. It's funny you mentioned about the blade duration. He said if he'd worked three five-hour shifts of cutting cork, that's how long a blade would last before it gets dull. Three, five hour shifts. Yeah, so it's about 15 hours of straight cutting cork nonstop. Oh, and the cork is really thick and it, it's also backed with fabric. So yep. very interesting. He is not using endurance blades. He's usually just using regular Ulfa blades, just the regular ones. He uses also, um, so Adam is uh, my cousin and he cut, he fulfills all the orders and cuts the cork and he uses a 60 millimeter blade for cutting the cork. Um, this one's 45 millimeters. Pat says, Aragon bag video in the future. Yes, I have that. I, I don't have my complete schedule for the next four-pack video bundle at the end of January, but the Aragon bag will definitely be in that one because I, I get a lot of requests for diaper bags, and as that is a diaper bag, um, that'll be in the next bundle for sure. Diana says, have you ever put two pieces of cork together to make one long piece for a strap? How? Um, I'm not sure if I have this separated as a individual video. I talked about it on Social Sunday I believe yep. if you Google, uh, go on YouTube and Google So Sweetness and definitely did a tutorial on continuous separated. or cork strap, I think that'll come up. Um, I apologize. I'm still trying to work out getting all of the Social Sunday demonstrations posted individually. Danny had those edited for me. I just haven't had time to go in and make graphics for them and all that, that's needed to be done. Michelle says, PSA, one more day to enter your Bellevue pouches in this month's contest. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Michelle. So if you go to the blog, it's sosweetness.com backslash blog. Um, one of the posts, it's about five posts down, um, but it's for the Bellevue pouch, which was the Minikins challenge for the month of October. Uh, you have one more day, and last I checked, I think I checked last week, and there were 215 entries, so lots of entries. The prize is for a $100 gift card to my shop, and that's a randomly drawn winner. So um, especially if you've already made that before, please go and post your photo so you have the chance to enter that uh, drawing. Deanie says, could Web Sarah include thumbnail pics of the patterns so we can see a pic of the bag in our downloader patterns? That's a good idea. Web Sarah is currently um, scheduled to work on getting the pattern PDF patterns in your accounts in alphabetical order. We currently have the videos in alphabetical order. Uh, we'd like to have the patterns for you in alphabetical order also, so she's got that on her schedule. I'll see about the thumbnail photos. I'm not sure if that's possible, but if so, uh, Web Sarah can do it. Um, have you ever tried sewing the outside fabric, the zipper, and the lining in one step instead of two? Uh, totally doable. So um, her questions in reference to when I'm attaching fabric to a zipper, I do it one at a time. So I first attach the exterior, um, then I attach the lining uh, with the zipper sandwiched in between. Uh, you, it's totally doable to do all three layers at once. I just, uh, I don't know if it's habit or hoping that a newer person has better luck with the one at a time type thing, but you for sure could skip the extra step and sew all three layers at the same time with your zipper. Gretchen says, do you need to use special tools if you use suede? So the only suede I've used before is made by a company called Shannon Fabrics and it's called Cuddle Suede. So it's not like real actual from an animal suede. Um, but 
for that cuddle suede, I just used my regular sewing machine foot. I can't advise on the real suede because I haven't used it, but uh, might be the same. Might be the same case. I'm not sure. Maureen says, "Can you demo how to put rivets on with the rivet tool through the bag lining opening? It's so hard to get uh, to the inside of the bag." That's a good question. All three layers. Um, I guess it depends on where the rivet's going exactly. Because if it's a zipper opening and it's near the top of the bag, I could see that being pretty easy. Uh, let me think about that one. Um, see what I can come up with. Uh, question, how do you change out the zipper pulls on the zippers? Uh, where do you get extra pulls? Do you carry them? So uh, I do not carry the extra pulls. I'm trying to think. Um, I know By Annie sells uh, zippers by the yard with pulls and also bundles of like... Um, an assortment of different colors of pulls um, that will be added to my list for a social Sunday demonstration for how to put the pulls on the zipper tape and uh, yes I will add that to my list. Kathy says I just ordered the wool ironing mat will I need to put something under it to protect my sewing table from heat or condensation? That's a really good question. Um, the answer is depending on what your tabletop is made of uh, you should. So our tabletops are made of what are they made of? Quartz. In the sewing room, our tabletops are made of quartz because uh, when we redid our, our kitchen, they had extra tabletop, which they were going to charge us for. Um, anyways. But anyways, but not used. So we said, well, we'll put them in the sewing room. So because it's a quartz tabletop, when I put the wool mat on top, um, it doesn't hurt the tabletop. But when I say if I'm ironing and I remove the wool mat right away, I can feel it's, it's sort of damp underneath. So especially if you have, have a wood tabletop, maybe put a towel or something underneath. Is that what you would think uh, to catch the extra condensation from the wool mats? Like a towel, like a bath, like a, you could, why not? a regular towel? Is that what you would think would be the best thing to do? Um, you know what I'm talking maybe about, like a right? placemat or something even. Oh, a placemat is good. I like the placemat idea even better. Or if you're a quilter, if you have a quilter's template plastic, uh, that might be another option too because that's available usually sometimes in bigger sheets. Same thing with uh, like those we have in the kitchen and we had in the bathroom. Like, uh, <laughs> you put it in sometimes, like, bathrooms or... Oh, the plastic? Where, yeah, uh, where it's, like, memory foam. Oh, yes. Solid, That's a good idea, doesn't too. doesn't let water go through. Those are good ideas. And uh, it'll hold it in place, doesn't let it shift around, depending on your surface type. Good idea. But, yes, condensation will happen underneath the mat. Melissa says, Sarah, on Epicure Clutch, if you use the 7.5-inch frame, do you have to trim um, half inch from the width of the pattern piece. Yes, it's actually included in the pattern instructions, the different I just saw someone else dimensions that. that you have to cut instead. So I have dimensions for both the eight inch frame or the seven and a half inch frame. Thanks, Jacqueline. Oh, for helping thank out you, too. Jacqueline. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's always so helpful in the comments. Um, Carrie says, could you turn a bag through a pocket instead of doing a drop in lining? Um, you could, uh, Probably pattern specific though. Yeah. Depends how big it is. Um, sometimes it depends on the pattern, but I do have a few patterns uh, that are turned through um, the opening in the zipper pocket. I think the satellite bag's one of them. I know there's at least one or two in the new Minikin set that we turned through the... Um, I think the day trip was the, the new one that we turned through the zipper pocket opening. All right, Lily says, suggestion for your postcard birthday. Do you know She's what asking you what suggestion, suggestion? What, kind of, what kind of postcards you want. Oh, what kind of postcards want? would I like? <laughs> I don't, look, I don't, I don't know, know what kind of cards you want. <laughs> well, I was, if possible, I was hoping to get a postcard where you live, where you're from, because I think it would be really cool to see pictures of, um, I realize that Area. not every place has a postcard, but it might be possible. I don't know. Corey says, I use a silicone mat that you would uh, roll pie dough on. Oh, that's a really good one. I like that. Yes. Multi-use. Although I, I'm assuming if you use it for sewing, you probably maybe don't want to use it also in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Wanda says, have you ever used the roller foot for pleather? I tried it and it wouldn't glide. Is there a special te technique for using it? I actually don't have a roller foot. I've never used one. I've heard, I think I decided not to get one because I heard one or two people say that they didn't like theirs. <laughs> Um, but I use a Teflon foot for sewing with leather or pleather. You could also use a walking foot. I, I usually just use a Teflon foot. It's easy for me to get on and easier for me to get on and off my sewing machine than the walking foot. Cheryl says, uh, so didn't anyone ask when the new templates are coming out? That's a good question. Ed and Robin are working on the templates right now. Um, I don't know. We might have them sometime next week. I don't have a tracking number yet, and I don't want to rush Ed and make him all frantic. Um, mm -hmm. 
We'll let you know though on the live show. He works shows. fast, so we don't have to rush him. Well, yeah, he does work fast. Yeah. Um, we we did check out the samples. The samples looked great. Um, and we have nine acrylic templates for the new Minikin Season Two patterns, just because. Um, well, the one grocery bag, if you've seen it already, or if you printed out your pattern piece, the pattern piece is huge. So no template for that one. And then I think three of the patterns are just measurements. So no acrylic templates for any patterns that are just rectangles or squares. Um, I warped my cutting mat when I used seam on my wool mat on top of it. Um, did I say cutting mat? I don't know. Maybe, I was just, maybe it was a good hint. Um, like, hey, yeah, don't that's, use your cutting that's mat. a good hint. Uh, if I said cutting mat, I apologize. Um, quilter's template plastic, uh, the silicone mat that was mentioned. Uh, a towel if you if you don't want to buy anything new. Charlie says the satellite bag turns through the pocket and it freaked me out. <laughs> Kathy says uh, you can use a photograph as a postcard. I didn't That's even think idea. about that because yeah. you could just take the photograph, put the stamp on there, write something. That's a really good idea. Thank you, Kathy. Awesome. It's a great idea. Even cheaper than buying a postcard. Absolutely. I, I don't know how much. Not everyone could probably print it, but you can go to your Kinkos or different stores. You can take a picture. Jewel, Oscar, well, Wal Walgreens. Walmart, Walmart, everywhere. Walgreens. Yeah. Um, They'll print single pictures. And I don't know, it's been years since I've sent a postcard, but I think the stamps for postcards used to be like 19 cents or something. Don't quote me on that because, like I said, it's been a while. But um, Carrie says, how do you go about designing a new bag from that first inspiration to creating the prototype? We actually, I think it was February, we did a video on my process from start to finish, yep. including the software and uh, everything. I'll have to try to dig that one up because I... I, try, I know I looked at for it recently in my notebook. I keep a notebook of all the Sunday shows, but it was a Tuesday show, so um, I'll try to find that one for you. Amanda says, Sarah, do you have any tips for pressing larger, stiff bags like the airplane bag front after it has been turned and finished? So for pressing the airplane bag, I usually unzip it and put half of it on my ironing board and just iron it. Um, that's probably the easiest, the easiest method for that one. Um, if there's any areas of a bag that you can't get into very carefully, I know when I used to have a steamer, the steamer came with a big, uh, n not a pillow, but it was like a rectangle and it was stuffed with foam or something. Um, it was thick. It was like a couple inches thick and they had that with the steamer so that you could hold the pad in your hand and then steam on it. You could replicate that easily by, by getting a towel and folding it up several times and then putting it in, in your bag and then just ironing on top of the top, you know, the towels inside the bag, but the irons on top of the bag and ironing it that way. That's another way. Um, a tailor's ham, which is like a, um, I don't know, like an Easter ham, I guess. I don't know if that's how it got its name, but you could also use that for putting inside the bag and then ironing on top of it. Barbara says, have you thought about designing a bag that is convertible for both carrying and using as a backpack? So I'm actually, oh, I don't know, this month or next month, I'm going to be working on a sling backpack. Um, some people on the live shows a couple months ago requested that and Danny also wanted one. So it's like a, one, was it a one strap backpack? It goes around one shoulder. Depends how you design it. Oh, okay. I don't know what's in your head. I could perhaps make it convertible. We'll have to Maybe see. Maybe like it'd be one strap that zips down the middle and pulls apart and goes to oh, two Then straps. it would be convertible. Whoa. Whoa. Mind, Mind blown. So I'm I honestly it. haven't thought about it in the least, but uh, I just wanted to get through the Minikins season two and then... That's on the My next, next question is going to throw you. Next on the docket. Um, no, you didn't say cutting mat. Just wanted to mention that. Oh, okay. Sometimes I, <laughs> I have really short-term memory, and sometimes uh, I don't remember exactly what I just said like two seconds ago, so um, just wanted to be sure. <laughs> Nick and Erica says, Sarah, Danny, what's in store for Minikin Season 3? Um, it's funny because I finished Minikin Season 2. What was it? When we fin wrapped up the last video, I said... Boy, this is a good one, but I don't I don't know that I could do this. I, I don't know that I could replicate this because I felt like the season two projects were really strong. And uh, after 13 for this time, I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm out of ideas, but I know in a month or two, I'll have some more ideas. So um, I don't know. I couldn't say because I haven't thought about it yet, but I'd like to do another one. Hope says, what is the role that you use for pressing? Um, I don't think I have it handy. It's called a Taylor's ham. I believe, and I actually have two different kinds. I have one that's like a a loaf of bread, like a round loaf of bread. And I have another one that's kind of like a hot dog bun, but bigger. Um, it's for, uh, I, I suppose, technically for like pressing sleeves, like on a dress shirt or so, so you could get inside like the narrow sleeves. But um, I use it for making bags sometimes, depending on the bag style. <laughs> Jeff says, Danny, I like that hoodie. What is it? It's a hoodie. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, when we visited Universal Studios last year. It's a uh, Slytherin 
hoodie zipper up. Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yep. Oh, wrong arm. Oh, by the way, I already bought tickets to see the new Harry Potter. Well, it's not really a Harry Potter movie. Um, the uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. It's coming out November 16th, but we already oh, bought tickets. Oh, I'm excited tickets. about that one. I think it's, yes. it's close to like the... Super love Harry Potter. Love, love. <laughs> that one was funny. Uh, someone said, no, season three. I have to get through season two first. <laughs> uh... All right, can you make a diaper bag? So the Aragon bag is a pattern I wrote a few years ago. Uh, I did design it as a diaper bag, but we'll be doing a video for that um, end of January. It'll be coming out. I'm excited about that one. I like making that bag. I use it as a, I don't have babies anymore, but I sometimes use it as a carry-on bag on the airplane, and it fits under the seat really nicely. Diana says, Sarah needs a rest from designing. She's been on overload. So <laughs> I think I mentioned this in, before in the past, but... It's almost like I don't know what to do with myself when uh, a big project is finished. Like, I, I know we just finished Minikin Season 2, but I still have, uh, like, a, a small bit of an email backlog to get through. And uh, I just know, don't know how to settle or be quiet, I think. Do, do you think that's true about me? Definitely. No doubt, definitely. Besides my family, like, the sewing and all of you and our live shows, it's pretty much all I have, which... <laughs> I don't mean it for it to sound sad, but uh, it makes me happy, but I'm just saying that that's all I have, like family and sewing, that's it. <laughs> Debbie says, design a trash bag for my van. I use a Walmart bag. That's a good idea. I mean, it sounded, it, I laughed at first, but that really so is I, a good as idea. I was reading it, so I thought it was funny. Hmm. How to make it more classy. There's got to be Maybe a way. Maybe it's somewhat like a desktop <laughs> cube where it stands itself up, but then you might get sturdy, hmm. so that wouldn't work think about that one Combo Gretchen edition. says what is your favorite bag from season two probably that's a good question where is it I'll grab it back here probably the I was most proud of the gloss cosmetic bag um, besides liking the version that I made in Tula Pink Pinkerville with the unicorn on the front this one took me the longest to figure out and I I don't usually make so many prototypes usually I I'm pretty good about uh, getting to the design right away, and my first prototype might be the, the the one. But this one I had to remake four times because the first version was too boxy, so I tried to make the, the back of the bag and the front of the bag the same shape, and it was just like a rectangle. It was really ugly. And then um, in order to get the zipper to fit, like see how the zipper could, you know stops continuing on the back of the bag but on the front, so I had to make them different widths in order to get everything fit to, to fit together and then I had to figure out it was tough to figure I, I'm gonna be honest it was tough to figure out how the inside goes together with this part like how, what goes on the zipper how does it come together but I did it so I think that's probably why this one's my favorite because it it was the hardest for me but I really enjoy the challenge and that's my favorite part of designing patterns is figuring out a problem and this one was a huge problem for me Paula says, cork question on the dark colored cork. Do you have to worry about the color coming off if it gets wet or rubs on clothing like a purse? I have never, um, not once heard an instance of color coming off. Um, I've used some of the bags with cork on them myself and I've never seen anything like that happening. Um, the cork is treated by the manufacturer uh, with UV protectant and um, a form of scotch guard. So I'm assuming between both of those processes, it seals everything in properly so there's no chance of dye or color rubbing off on clothes or anything else. Carlos, Carla says, you were wearing that hoodie the first time I saw your show. That made me come back, fellow nerds. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, this is, he loves wearing this hoodie. He couldn't yeah. find it the other day, but he found it again, so good times. Kim says, when will the cork uh, pack start again? So cork club, we were thinking about January uh, for Core Club, so we'll see. We'll see, right? That's another thing Adam and I were talking about today. I said, oh, you I, were talking about it? Yeah, because I you tell me. Because uh, I thought that possibly we weren't going to do it this January so quick. It's coming up real fast. Oh, okay. Too fast for us. Yeah. Okay. We'll let you know on the live show. Yep. About Core Club, Vicky says, "Hi, Sarah. Can you please make a small day and or evening bag with pockets and zipper compartments on the inside?" Let me see. All right. Are you looking for like a clutch style bag or uh, let me know something more specific if there's something specific you had in mind. Um, Joanne says, can you machine wash the cork? Do you want to talk about that, the test that we yeah, ran we, on it? We took a sample and 
we wanted to see how this much was abuse. Yours. Yeah, this when was we first ago. started doing the cork, so we yeah. wanted to see how much damage we can cause by try, intentionally trying to abuse it. And um, we couldn't get it to peel off, to bubble. We washed it, we threw it in the dryer. Um, I took soap and water and like rubbed on it. Um, the coloring didn't come off. The nail. Yep. So we dragged stuff across it. Um, not saying it's, you could just do all that stuff and not have a problem with it, but that's what our personal test. I took two different pieces of cork, just to make sure one cork wasn't better than the other piece of cork. Um, I've not done it lately. Maybe we should do it again, just see if the cork quality has changed, better or worse in between. And um, try it and see what happens. But when we did it, it, you could wash it. Nothing came apart that didn't, yeah, it just... I'd like to together. say, though, um, with the question of washing it, my first recommendation, since the cork is water resist resistant, rather than throwing your finished bag in the washer or dryer, which I suppose you could do, but I feel like the integrity of the bag and the look of the bag would be better, especially with cork, if you just wiped it clean with a wet with a wet cloth. Um, that would be the best option. Um, and I, I can't imagine any kind of juice or stain not coming off when you wiped it with a cloth. What do you think? Uh, I, I don't know. We didn't. I don't remember trying to like a juice and cleaning it off and stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, yeah, wiping it clean is the best first <clears throat> first option for the cork. Lori says, "Oh yeah, the car trash bag is a solid idea. Make it out of the nylon used in the grocery bag pattern and add a snap or velcro closure for straps that can go around the front seat headrests." Oh, that's a really good idea. Yep. I'm a I admit I'm a huge culprit of throwing receipts or garbage in the car. I don't mean throwing it all over the she place. Put it in the side door. I put the in the side lower door. Portion. Yeah. Um, Sally says, is there an online source for the Tula Pink fabrics used for Minikins Season 2? So um, in the Minikins videos, I linked, uh, or I put a note that this uh, Tula Pink fabric is not available till March. I have it on order, uh, but it won't be available to any shops or even to us until March of next year. So I apologize for that. But I really wanted to use this fabric because unicorns. So um, we'll let you know as soon as it comes in, um, but it'll be a few months still. Margie says, can you make a train travel case? So we have, um, I don't know if it was different than what you were envisioning, but I have the Crimson and Clover train cases pattern. Um, we also have a video for that one. It's available on the website under uh, sewing patterns. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Lois says, are you going to start doing some embroidery? Do you think we have time to do that now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to take a, a minute, get a breather. <laughs> Kim says, Danny, uh, you can do the court club just for me. That way you won't be overwhelmed. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> I could probably do that for you, to be honest. <laughs> just for you. You asked so kindly. Um, oh, regarding the birthday postcards, I will uh, I need to get a P.O. box for that, and I'll post the address. Or if it'd be um, great just to shortly. set an email up. Instead of doing a postcard, just have people take pictures of their local areas. You don't have to get like a physical. No, but item I really, I want to. I like getting mail and like having. That's a cool. You can always print it out yourself. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, but I'm you're throwing it out there. No, you're you're ruining the idea. Sorry. Kim says, "Hi, Sarah. I'm, I'm self teaching myself to sew. Which bag do you recommend for a total newbie to bag making? So I highly recommend the Baker Street bag. It's a free pattern and also a free video on the YouTube channel. Um, and you can make that in quilting cotton. I'd recommend for the first one making it in quilting cotton." Um, very easy to sew with, and uh, yeah, Baker Street Bag is the one I would recommend. Teresa says, I need a pattern for a larger desk organizer. My husband's desk is, well, let's just say it's challenging. Mine is too, so I can understand that. And I want to show you mine right now. Danny's is even more challenging than mine is. Uh, I have lots of, like, mail, some carb stuff. Boxes. Well, those just came. But some, yeah, it's there. Sometimes food wrappers or drinks. I don't see food wrappers. Not now. I said sometimes. Well, Mountain Dew bottles, yeah. <laughs> Cindy says, I did put my Hyacinth bag with uh, cork and cotton fabric in the wash uh, washing machine on cold and hung it dry. Looks great. Oh, thank you for the feedback about that. Um, so another user that's washed uh, a finished cork bag. Um, Andrea says... Um, I'm not sure why I'm stuck on a shoe storage option, but I have several nice shoes that I would love to put. Um, I actually, hmm, I did have that on my brain earlier this year, like a, a zippered shoe storage. Um, I think my thoughts was to put in a shoe case, but I guess it could go in your closet as well. So I don't know. Perhaps I will revisit that idea. I never did anything with it. Nitzstrick and Erica says a car visor organizer would be a cool minikin. That's a good one too. 
I know I used to have one years ago for CDs, but CDs are not really a thing anymore. So Charlie says, I watched your piping video, but I forget. Do you use a piping foot to, to make your piping or your zipper foot? Um, so you could e either use a piping foot. Um, I don't think I used my piping foot in that video, but I did in the Crimson and Clover train cases one. But if you use the, um, what's it called? Uh, Pellon Wonder Under or Pellon Wonder Web when making the piping like I showed in the video, you actually don't need to use a zipper foot because the interfacing seals the cording in the fabric. Um, but you could use a piping foot if you wanted to or a zipper foot. Um, no, no, don't ruin it, Danny. Postcard will be fun. She yes. said something similar to that as well. It would be awesome. because I, I think that where... comment sums it up to me. Danny doesn't want more stuff in the yes. house. Oh, yeah. But yes. I would organize it in like a little... Um, I don't know if it's for scrapbooking, but when I go to Michael's, they have these really cool, it must be for photographs, uh, like little organizer boxes. They're really not that big, like a little bit larger than a shoe box. It would be so nice to have a postcard from where everybody lives. That would be really cool. Or a photograph of where they live. Gwen says, I like the idea of a real postcard. You will get one from me. Yes. Thank you, Gwen. I'm trying to ruin my fun. You want me to print out pictures? Come on. Uh, you print a out postcard, invitations. They I know, but a postcard good. would clearly be higher quality. Sharon says, I, I wrote, take a picture of the welcome uh, to signs and send that to Sarah. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, welcome to Wisconsin or welcome to... That's a good idea, too. Michelle says she wants us to send her postcards for her birthday. Yes. Susan says, can you make the essential oil bag into a foot storage bag with a foam insert? Would uh, we be able to order the insert from you if this is a possibility? A foot storage bag. Oh, you, you mean totally like could. you just make you mean the like the in, size. you mean like the insert is like the shape of a shoe? Am I a, misunderstanding? A shoe storage. She's probably making a, a to store shoes, Sarah. Okay, but the insert would be like have a cutout for the shoe. Is that what? Oh, you got me. You think she's asking? What would you need the foam insert for? Maybe you can follow well, so that. Also, the shoes are yeah. Let us know in a follow up comment, Susan. Let's see. It will make her feel more of hanging out with her friends with postcards yes because you guys are my my friends you really are because i sadly really don't have that in real life <laughs> um let's see susan says organizer you you can make one i'd send one address oh uh, yes oh an organizer yes i can make one that's true um, Sarah will create a postcard storage bag with vinyl to show some of the postcards peeking through. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, everyone knew except us. Oh, Sewing beats. <laughs> it's so obvious now. That's a good idea. Lost in translation. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sewing machine foot, not foot or shoe. <laughs> Can't believe we thought that that was what it was. Sorry about that, guys. Well, I thought it was towards the comment, the other lady asking for shoe storage. And he's like, oh, you can take off, can you store your foot? Okay, that's a be much better idea. Yeah, all these comments flooded through and it's like, okay. foot, foot, feet, presser feet, Duh. presser feet, hello, feet, feet. <laughs> Earth to Sarah, come on now. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Whew. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, Lori. Lori says, so Danny can take a photo of every postcard and make a special digital album or post it on your website. You know, I'll do is I'll have like a video just like this and I'll take the postcards and go... Brrr. <laughs> <laughs> there's your photo <laughs> that's a funny one sewing machine feet storage bag yes are they index, index card size Postcards? Diane says you can purchase an index card box for storage or you can make one oh yeah because they're about that size and I have one from Violet an index card box because she needed one for school and then she used it for a week and she said I don't really like this one anymore I'm not going to use it so it's in the living room right now Andrea says, Sarah, since I found your site, I feel like I have many new friends. I am I am new to where I live. Thank you for helping ease my loneliness. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad that the community is coming through for you. Um, I have not really ever moved to a different place, really. Uh, but if we do, when we move to Tennessee, I, I'm sure I will be in the same boat. Everything will be new and You'll have me, baby, scary. always. I know. but <laughs> It's never enough, is it? There's plenty of Danny to go around. Marilyn says, I've been <laughs> looking for a carpet bag pattern. Think Mary Poppins, and there aren't any good ones I can find. It would be wonderful if you would want to design one since your designs are always spot on. So carpet bag, does it have a It's like a, a floppy big bag, I think. Oh, you know what? Is that the big, like, doctor medicine bag style? 
Is that what you're thinking? Oh, yeah, I don't that's know. We'll, what I'm thinking I'll look about. up picture up and we'll get that. Okay, one. that's cool. Let's too. cheat and look right now. Uh, Marilyn says I've. Oh, that's the same question. Sorry Mary about that. Poppins, carpet bag. Oh, this is a good one. We can put this one up. Robin yeah, says, I know I had it ready because I, I knew you enjoy it. Danny needs something to do since filming is done for Minikin season two. Yeah. <laughs> I print orders every morning. Let me just start that off, okay? Yeah, but we... Every morning. He came up with a process that eight makes... Eight days a week. He came hey, up... hey, just because no. I improved the process... No, no, no. ...doesn't mean I, you know... Let me finish. He came up with a process or figured out a process on the website to print the orders, what, twice as fast? So yeah, he's, cuts the time down half. He's done in like an hour or two. And then what is he supposed to do oh, for the pass. rest of the day? Zero bag's huge. Oh, is that Mary Poppins? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. We'll investigate that further. It's there, cool bag. There is a new Mary Poppins movie coming yeah, out Yeah, I'm excited to go see that. Violet wants to see that. William was like, uh, he wasn't into it. Yeah, you know, I think the video games got a, such a tight hold of that <laughs> boy. We have to remove his uh, video game access privileges and we'll start enjoying other things. Other like things life. life. Yeah, life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pretty cool. He was playing with his skateboard today after school. He wanted to go outside and uh, practice some flips. He sees these guys on YouTube like, oh, man, I, I want a new skateboard. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then he's going outside trying some of the tricks. And it's like, yep, it's going to take time, buddy. You're not going to learn yeah, it like this. It's going to yeah. take days, weeks, months. As with anything. Yep, for sure. That's true. All right. I take it you're cutting off the questions? Uh, we'll just have a couple comments come through real quick. Okay, no. <laughs> Oh, you could read them, sir. Feel free to. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's cool. Wow, it's funny how they all came up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Danny, why aren't you printing my order? It's waiting. <laughs> he prints the orders. If he doesn't print them in the middle of the night, like 2 or 3 a.m. Tonight he, I'll be in the middle of the night. He prints them out at, uh, what, like 8 a.m., something like that? Yep. That's usual. One of those two options. Yeah, and I'll probably orders. catch up. It depends how busy we are with packing orders. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah sometimes we print twice a day. He prints in the afternoon yep. if there's a lot. All right. Thank you so much for joining Hold us on. for Ask Sarah. Uh, free. How do you get questions answered? By just generally asking them. Sometimes stuff goes through so quick we can't get everyone. We do. I apologize if we can't get to all the questions. But if you have a question that you need help with and I we didn't Always get to email. answer live, you can email me. So my email is sarah at sosweetness.com, sarah with no H. And I answer 100% of all emails. And actually, someone at the retreat this past September mentioned that I... She I emailed me twice. Other... Well, I'm trying to talk here. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, somebody at the retreat emailed uh, or mentioned that she emailed me twice and I never responded. And I felt heartbroken about that. Um, I always respond to every single email. So if uh, there's some reason that I'm not writing you back, uh, usually there's a problem with... Yeah, the wrong uh, email address. Wrong probably. email address. Uh, Maybe my reply to you went to spam, um, but I reply to all emails, and email is the best way to reach me. So don't send me a uh, direct message on Instagram or Facebook if you need help with something. Email me because I respond to every single email. Yeah, I went through the comments even back like six pages, and um, that's the only other comment I saw of hers. So I didn't see it. Maybe she was just asking for. Okay. She just wanted. For short and all caps, so I oh. felt like she was yelling at me like, "Danny, where, answer my question. I ask it I'm five sure times." It was, I'm sure it was probably accidental. No, it was pretty intentional. I could tell her last one was partial caps. She knows what she was doing. And you got my attention, so I'm watching you next time. Okay. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to go. All right. Can you uh, say the magic words? Yes. Uh, thanks so much for joining us for Ask Sarah. We'll see you again. Have a safe Halloween. Yes, have a safe Halloween. We'll see you yep. again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Have a great week. Don't eat too much candy and have a Oh, sign. I will.